So this is the continuation of part four of liver function test. Like I was talking about, the liver makes all clotting factors except factor eight. Factor eight is actually the bind to von Willebrand factor in the endothelial cells. And you can definitely watch the clotting cascade video. It will explain this in further details. So how do we know what how the liver is still functioning or not? So what we want to do, is to check what? The liver function test. And the most important thing, test you need to know is the prothrombin time. Prothrombin time, which is PT, which is usually reflected as a sign of whether the liver is still functioning because if your liver is still functioning it should be still be cracking out factors one factor two factor five five eight right nine factor ten actually factor eight is not involved you're gonna take him out sorry and factor twelve So, because if the liver is still working and making all, all these coagulation factors, that means your PT time should be normal. But if your PT time is prolonged, that means you're missing one of these cofactors. But before you can fully understand that, you have to watch the coagulation cascade video. Now, just on one note, once the liver is dead, what happens? None of these coagulation factors are being made. What happens to the time it takes for you for the pro the time for the prothrombin to be broken down into thrombin? which eventually make a clot, it takes a much longer time. So patients with liver failure, they're gonna have elevated amount of uh, PT time, but it takes a while. Almost 80% of the liver will probably not be knocked out. Probably not, the percentage doesn't matter, but most of the function of the liver, cells of the liver will have been dead by the time your PT is that definitely prolonged without being a warfarin, obviously. So just to kind of summarize, I kind of wrote these two points down here. There's cholestatic LFTs and there's hepatocellular inflammation, right? So if you look at the liver, like we said earlier, got the gallbladder coming out of it, right? So if it's cholestatic, it means it's from the gallbladder tree. What we have, what you will notice when you order the lab is the alkaline phosphatase and the GGT were very, very high, very high. Compared to the AST, it might be a slightly elevated Maybe some of the cells around the biliary tree, then some little um, hepa uh, hepatocytes, they might die and spill a little bit of AST or ALT, but it's not going to be that high. You're going to see a lot more alkaline phosphatase or GGT. The reverse is so, in what, what do we see cholestatic jaundice or cholestatic liver function? When you have what? Cholecystitis, ascending cholangitis, cholidocholithiasis. However, if it's the liver is inflamed, Right? It's on fire. Or oh, it's getting necrosed. It's blown apart. The cells are blowing the beautiful, nice little hexagonal cells are dying and releasing all their content from what? Inflammation. Inflammation of the liver is called hepatitis. Good. Very good. So hepatitis, what are you normally going to see? Elevated amount of liver function. ASC will be skyrocketed. ALT will be even more higher. Ridiculous, but you might see slight elevation ALP, which is the alkaline phosphatase. But most of the problem is coming from the liver at that point because it's getting inflamed. You have from a virus, a drug infection, a drug reaction, or some sort of whatever, or whatever pathology is affecting the liver. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's liver function test, and that's how we determine. Remember, we use albumin, which is usually decreasing patients with uh, chronic liver failure. Also, we always check for prothrombin time, which is the most specific to tell us if the function of the liver is still actually functioning. And for the most part, the laboratory values really reflect if there's an issue with the liver or some problems with the gallbladder. On that note, that is the end of liver function test part four. We hope you enjoyed this lecture videos. Please remember to subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey!
Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE step one or step two? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam. Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exam, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse pr practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, you'll be able to reach me directly, and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you are super awesome, and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.